Well, so let's let's talk a little bit about uh, where you are right now and in the NBA bubble. <laughs> we are we are in the NBA bubble. Yes, the um, the the NBA put together a pretty interesting um, facility, if you will, <clears throat> that allows us to all come together. And and uh, um, the idea was to be able to start the NBA season and keep everybody safe, obviously. So we're at Walt Disney World, and uh, there at the very beginning there were three centers, if you will, of uh, places where people stayed, different hotels and properties that we we're able to use. We're at the uh, the Coronado Resort, so there's this really there's a lake right behind where my hotel room is. So nice, um, and then we have uh, facilities where we we're in a bubble, but we we do travel off campus. So they ha they've set it up so there's a moving bubble. So wherever we go, they keep everybody um, separate from us. Um, we, have three, we had three facilities to go um, practice and play. Now, it's, uh, now that we're in the conference finals and down to the NBA finals, we're in one facility. So um, it was really a, a spectacular project that the NBA put together. They did a, a really fantastic job of putting together something where everybody could come live, work, and uh, try to compete for something that's really special. You know? it, it was quite amazing, an amazing effort, I, I, I must <clears throat> say, to make sports work in the middle of a pandemic. And, and um, yeah. just looking at some of the videos on what goes on in the bubble, um, Quite amazing that the the amount of facilities that it put in and the, and the security and the medical and the safety and all that. Um, yeah, we get we get tested every day and there's security everywhere we go. Even when we go to the golf course, there's NBA security that that drives the guys out to the to the driving range of the first tee and just to make sure that there's no uh, overlap and contact with um, with the public. And so it's uh, it's fascinating all the work and and. Uh, the, the people that are working with the NBA to make that happen. So it, was, it really is, it really is great. Yeah. <laughs> how, how are things on, on during the, during the game? Cause we watch it on TV um, and obviously there's no <coughs> fans and we, you know, we see some virtual fans in the background and sometimes there's, there's the crowd noise and we understand it's simulated. How, how do, how do the games feel right there in the bubble? Uh, obviously, it took some getting used to, Jr. I think when we when we first got here, um, you know, one of the thoughts was that that we're going to have to provide um, our own momentum, our own enthusiasm, our own you know background noise, our own fans, and that kind of thing. Um, oddly, anytime you do something over and over and over, it becomes normalized. So, you know, the games we go, we come to the games, we know the televisions are on, like always. Uh, we go into the locker rooms. Uh, it's slightly different there. Uh, as You know, we just, we literally go to the games, um, warm up, meet, play the game, and leave. You know, so there's no, normally it, it, in your own arena, you have meals and showers and workouts and weights and all that kind of stuff. We have a small weight room that we do activations to get ready for the games and we get a small lift and that kind of thing. But uh, it's kind of, you know, it's gotten normal. There's, there's uh, ball boys and, and um, people that help us on the court. Um, they have the scores table behind plexiglass. So there's yeah. no, you know, there's not any contact there. And then the cameras and everybody else is there moved away. But uh, it's a, it's a really interesting production that, for us now, um, so tonight we play game three and it's our home game. So the background noise that is brought in will be from our, you know, from our side. So mm. it's, they, they try to make it so you can kind of create some momentum, you know. So if, if we're making a run in Boston, then the Boston fans will be quieter. And then if they start making a pushback, the fans start to yeah. come alive. So you know they're trying to make it as realistic as possible we see the virtual uh, fan board behind us so um it's it's uh it really is pretty neat so it's um it's fascinating it's you know you miss the fans you miss the energy of the building but um listen what we're playing for is a is a big deal if you're a basketball player and coach and and um 
it's a real challenge to try and come win this particular title. And here we are mm. trying our best. Yeah. It, it, it must be. And we've been reading about, you know, how players are, um, you know, some of them are, are not coping that well with the isolation. Um, and, you know, there was Paul George coming out to say that he's not able to handle some of the mental pressures of being away from family. How, how are the Miami Heat players coping um, during this time? Well, our guys are, um, but to a man, everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants to go after something that, that uh, has its own unique challenges besides playing against the other teams, you know. And when you're talking about being here in the bubble, I think the first thing that you have to do is, is beat the bubble. You know, you have to be connected with your teammates. And, and we're all – our team is really close anyway. Uh, our staff is all, we're all really close friends and our families, everybody's family inter, um, intermingles. So we turn to each other and, and our guys are handling it um, really well. I think you've probably seen, uh, there's been some fun little ancillary things that have taken place. We've been on the golf course together. We've been out fishing. Um, Jimmy Butler started a coffee business in his room called Big Face Coffee and uh, Brandon, <laughs> who was in Singapore, he started Little Face Coffee. So they have this, uh, you know, they have this, and they're only about four or five doors apart in our hallway. So, um, but the team did a, a great job when you go in. Everybody has their own team room. In our team room, um, we made it look like something, like a special place to be. When you come into our team room, there are pictures of all of us in games and everybody's families and things that we're trying to achieve and, and great moments in, in, of the, of the season. And everybody, it was interesting at the very beginning, our room was built like that and the other teams would walk by and stop and look in the door and <laughs> go, wow, look what those guys did. And then other teams tried and it started to uh, try to do some, some similar things in their own rooms. So we're, you know, we thought about it really uh, thoroughly and, and uh, for our guys, uh, yes, the, the bubble is a challenge, but um, our guys are rising to that challenge for sure. Well, it, it's certainly paying off um, all the effort to make the players feel comfortable <clears throat> and we're seeing some of the results on, on the court as well. And so first of all, congratulations on a great playoff run and um, winning the first two games against the Celtics, the Boston Celtics. Um, yeah. Can you share, is, is, has this been a surprise for you or have you guys been expecting to do, be doing this well anyway? Well, you know, I, I think everybody on the outside is surprised. Uh, sometimes, sometimes when you, have some, when you have something special going on with a team, um, the only people that know are the team. And we knew that there was something special going on uh, just because of the level of commitment and, and, the the singular thought of what direction we're all going we're all we're all trying uh we're all competing for the same purpose you know which is a challenge in the nba because you have people in contract years and you have people in different roles and you know it, we're in the middle of the season and our team was this way and then and then we shut down for four months and our team is completely different so you could have some real issues in terms of personalities accepting things and and but our guys have been very singular and that we're we're trying to win and trying to do something special um so we've here we are in the eastern conference finals which i'm sure nobody on the outside expected us to be in um we believed that we could be here and you know we're trying to prove it each day um we got to play our first round series uh, it was a four or five matchup and a very, very good team in the Pacers got by them. Mm. And then uh, we played the Milwaukee Bucks who was the best team in basketball with arguably the best player in basketball. But we believed because we've had some success against them and we match up well and, and um, we were able to uh, get past the Bucks. And here we are with the Celtics who pretty much no prognosticators picked us to get by and, um, we've got to figure out a way to get the third win today. So that's where we are. And, and we really do approach it like that. It's, you know, there's only one thing going on. Everybody talks about the other things. We have one game. That's 
today.